Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Carly Bradley. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning, we'll tell you about news for Lake Okeechobee, women in the workforce, and more. Today is Wednesday, May 24th, and this is the Morning Report. With talk at the state level done for another year, legislative action on the Florida Everglades and Lake Okeechobee shifts to the federal government. Representative Francis Rooney is making a push at getting funding for a series of restoration projects in the area. Rooney met with the Office of Management and Budget to try and get the authorized projects funded. The House isn't the only chamber making a push either. Senator Bill Nelson wrote a letter to President Trump on Friday asking for $200 million in funding to speed up repairs of the Herbert Hoover Dyke surrounding Lake Okeechobee. Currently scheduled for completion in 2025, the Army Corps of Engineers estimates that with an extra $200 million per year, they could finish the project three years sooner. To read the full story, visit leeherald.com. Women CEOs earned big bucks last year, but there's still very few of them running the world's largest companies. The median pay for a female CEO was $13.1 million last year, up 9% from 2015, according to an analysis by executive data firm Equilar and the Associated Press. By comparison, male CEOs earned $11.4 million, also up 9%. But the number of women in CEO roles has barely budged. Just 6% of the top paid CEOs in the U.S. last year were women. Experts say companies need to do more to get women into CEO roles. Janice Elig, the co-CEO of executive search firm Chattig Elig, says unconscious bias in the workplace is keeping women from getting opportunities that will put them on track for top roles. Companies need to start recognizing that gender inequality exists, says Elig, who is also chairperson of the Women's Forum of New York. To read the full report, visit NaplesHerald.com. Seacrest County Day has their work cut out for them on Wednesday. Between the Stingrays and a berth in the Class 2A Baseball State Championship game sits perennial power Deltona Trinity Christian in a semifinal game at the Hammond Stadium in Fort Myers. Seacrest has made it to the state's Final Four three of the last four seasons and was the 2A runner-up in 2014. Trinity has made the Final Four in eight of the last nine seasons with the state titles in 2009, 10, and 12. The Stingrays came closest to a title in 2014 when they lost to Brio Miami Private in the finals. Last season, they dropped a 2-1 game in 10 innings to Jacksonville Christ Church Academy. Stay up to date on the rest of the baseball season. Visit NaplesHerald.com. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Carly Bradley. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break. That also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.